What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case any of you are new here and in this video we're going to be doing a quick trade recap on what I would like to call like a half day trade, half swing trade. Technically it was still a swing trade but it was just really quick so that's why I'm going to call it half a day trade and it could have also have been a day trade as well. Uh, but anyways, long story short, it was a swing trade because I got in it on one day. I held it overnight to the next day, which basically makes it a swing trade instead of a day trade. Uh, so let's jump right into it. It's a little bit of a messy one here, uh, but still one that's a good one. Um, I got into it in three different ways. That's why you see these three arrows here. These are my entry arrows, and then this is my exit arrow. I got out of it in two ways as well, uh, but they were right at the same time. So this was pretty much the move. I was in it right around the 37.75 area, and I got out right around the 39. Uh, the total profit on the trade was about 3,720, I believe, or 3,700, we'll just say. Um, this is how it went down. So I got into the trade at 10.10. Then I added in additional 20 more at 10.33, and I was into it at the full size position by 11 o'clock I added in additional 20 so I was in it 60 contracts now I got into them all fairly similar priced right here we were at 206 for the first batch of 20 228 for the second batch of 20 and then the final batch was at 212 um, so we'll call it an average price of 215 for now and then I'll do the detailed calculation later so if you do 215, 215, I know it shows two dollars and so, you know such and such. For the beginners, the way options works is one is equivalent to 100. So if it shows 206 or 228, uh, it's 206, 228. So the average cost of all of these is around 215. So we're gonna do 215 times 60, and that's gonna give you 12,900. So the cost of the trade was 12,900 dollars. Which basically means, I, I apologize, there's something distracted me. Um, what I was going to say is that the cost of the trade is $12,900. That doesn't mean that's what we are risking. If we're wrong, we're not going to lose $12,900. That's just the cost of the trade. We have a plan that if it does this, that, or the other, you know, such and such, you know, if it goes below or above a certain point, we're going to get out of the trade. Uh, we have our risk management and our plan for that. So that's just the cost of the trade. That's just to say, hey, if you had this much money, you could have done this too. Um, now I had not next week, but even the further following week after that expiration, because I was perfectly fine with making this a swing trade. Uh, it could have been a swing trade as the plan and all of that. Uh, I was looking at it from a longer term time frame. Uh, so I got, I bought time just in case. Now I closed it out the very next morning. You can see I was in it September 1st. I was out of it September 2nd. I know today is September 3rd technically. Um, I didn't have time to make the video yesterday. We didn't do any trades today because I was a little tied up. Uh, the market was looking a little odd out of the open and I didn't want to have to sit there watching it. And it was one of those days that I figured, you know, all right, it's best to have to be here. Um, so that, that's pretty much that. That's why I'm a little delayed on the video. I apologize. I, I know somebody's going to complain and say, well, it's a scam. It's, it's a two-day-old video. I don't know. You know people these days. Um, so anyways, cost of the trade was 12900 around the average price of 215 I had 60 contracts next week. Exp I'm sorry, not next week, but the following week expiration. We had calls. So calls means you make money when the stock goes up. I believe my previous video was on puts, so just wanted to clarify on that. So this is where I basically got into the trade initially. We'll go and put it on a smaller time frame here for you guys. Drag it back a little bit here. This right here is where I basically got into the trade, right at the 10.10. I added in right around that 10.33 there, and I was in at full size position 10.59 right here. And I was, I was in a profit of about $1,000, $1,500 when the market closed, but I wanted to hold it overnight because obviously that was my plan. Um, it didn't hit my profit target yet and all of that. So that's why I held it overnight. Now to give you guys a little something, something, because you guys know I like to give you a little something here and kind of give a little refresher for some of the students and all that. Uh, I was initially watching it as it made a red to green move. It was red on the day, went green. I was watching it alongside the market and a few other things. Uh, and once it went green and basically cleared the high, the high of the day here, and we, we can even zoom back a little more. It, we don't really need to. Let me just zoom back forward. 
um, uh, making a mess here. See, this is why I don't like zooming back and forth. Uh, but anyways, so we had the green to red move. I'm sorry, the red to green move. We cleared the high of the day as well. But my thing is I don't like chasing trades, especially after they're shooting up this much. So my theory was, my idea was I was watching it for a pullback. Ideally, I was hoping for a pullback to the 3750 area right here. Um, I didn't get it. So as I saw that we were starting to reverse here and starting to kind of hold up and kind of flag up and get ready for like another move upward, that's why I said, okay, let me go in and just get into it right here at the 1010 area. And I didn't get a full fill so that's why I went in and added in up here as well. And then I went in and added into a full size position once I saw that we got a little bit of a dip back to this area that I initially wanted to get into it full size. And that's where I was in it full size right there. Um, yeah, I'd say that's a decently full size trade, uh, not even like an average trade. That's a good size trade there. Um, and I held it overnight. Now, my initial primary profit target was the 3950 area. I kind of watched it out of the open a little, and I said, all right, we kind of hit that out of the pre-market. I don't trade in pre-market, but I will use pre-market levels to my advantage and all that, and I'm watching the 39 area. I saw it getting a little shaky on the 39 area, so I said, all right, let me lock in half of it right there. I sold 30 of the 60 that I had at 275 each, right at 630, pretty much right out of the open. I gave it like 30 seconds just to make sure like the spreads closed up and that everything was good. Um, once I saw everything was good, you know, I took my screenshot for Instagram and all that, closed the trade out, uh, closed out half of it right there. And I was going to see, okay, if we're holding the 39 area, I was going to hold the other half to see if we can maybe go run for the 40. And I just kind of felt like, okay, you know what? I was looking at some of the other things in the market and I'm saying, all right, it's looking a little shaky. It was kind of shaky right around this 39 area here. Uh, so that's where I basically closed it right out uh, the rest of the trade right at the 631. So we can basically just say I closed the whole trade out pretty much right out of the open. So I was in it right around the 3750 area, got out of it the 39 area. So it was like a quick small trade. Um, you could have even gotten back in on it the next day, or I mean, right after I got out of it, I could have gotten back in on it, caught another move. But anyways, that's besides the fact I let it go. I said I was done with it at that point. Um, but that's pretty much that guys. I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but this is where I got into the trade. I had calls. So as the value of the stock went up, the value of my calls went up. And again, this just just goes to show that you can do various kinds of trades when you know what you're doing in the market. You can do day trades. You can do swing trades. You can do middle of the day trades. You can do end of the day trades. I could have closed the profit out before the day even ended, and it would have been a $1,500 profit. Now, of course, that wasn't my plan, um, but th that's just my point, what I'm trying to say there. So Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video for the people that like to look at the basic stuff, the main stuff. The total profit on it was $3,700. let us go in and wrap it up for you guys on that. Remember, the cost of the trade was $12,900. And we're going to go ahead and just say that the average price that I sold it at was two seventy seven five is really what it is because it's like half here, half there. The middle point is two seventy seven five, But we'll just say two seventy seven. dollars So two seventy seven dollars times 60 is 16,620. That's what we sold it for. So we're going to subtract the cost of the trade, which was 12,900. And that gives you the profit, which was 3,720. Uh, and that, that's pretty much that there, guys. That basically gives you guys the calculation. Uh, there's nothing really to show on this side of things here because the profit doesn't show because this was taken yesterday. I took the profit um, and I didn't do anything today. Uh, so that's pretty much that. Uh, the market actually dropped itself today. Uh, so anyways, uh, before I start talking about something that has nothing to do with this trade, I want this video to be less than 10 minutes. Hopefully I can make the cut. Uh, you guys saw the calculations here. As always, if you guys want to you know, learn how to do this, if you want to join our watch list, I'll put all the links and stuff in the description below for our website. Uh, you can follow me on social media, Who's Bijan T on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all of the other things. And that's pretty much that, guys. We'll wrap it up here. Uh, I'm pretty much covered everything. I did all the calculations here. I mean, if you guys want to break it down yourself and get the exact calculations, you know, you can do 20 times 206, 20 times, you know, 228, 20 times 212, add it all up. It's going to give you the same price anyways. Um, but you know, just in case there's anyone out there that has something to say, but yeah, guys, we'll wrap it up here. If you guys did enjoy the video or learn anything at all, please be so kind, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, put the notification bell on and everything else that these normal YouTubers ask you to do that I might be forgetting. Do it, smash it, like it, just, just do it. All right, guys, you have a great day, have a great life, and I'll talk to you soon.